Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to design a book cover using Canva for your KDP. So I'm not gonna waste much of your time. We're gonna get started into the video right now. But don't forget, if you're a new subscriber on this channel, or that this is your second time of coming to watch my video, and yet you've not subscribed to this channel, do well and click the subscribe button right now. Turn on your post notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a video. Right now, let's get started. So when you come to Google on your laptop or whatever device you're using, you click on KDP cover, templates. So when you click on KDP cover templates, then you click on search. It's going to bring out several results, but that's not the ones we're looking for. So you actually scroll down. Exactly. This is where we are looking. This is where we are actually going to. So when you see resources book cow, you actually click on it. This is a website that will give you a, a good specification and help you come up with the right dimensions for your book cover. So it doesn't get rejected on Amazon. So right now we are going to scroll down and fill in these details. Right now it's asking if um, it's a paperback or art cover. For this case, it's going to be a paperback and it's asking for the dimension. I know a lot of um, people use 8.5 by 11, some use 6 by 9, but there are different dimensions. Depending on the book that you're creating, make sure that you use your particular dimension. I'm going to be using 8.5 by 11. And then um, it's asking me for the page count. So what is the total number of pages of the book that you're creating? In this case, I'm going to be using 50. It's asking for paper type. Is your, is your paper in white, cream, or colored? I'm going to be sticking with white. So ISBN, you don't have to fill that. You just have to leave the space blank. Then it's showing you that the format is going to be in PDF and PNG, which is actually okay. So then it's going to ask for your email address because you have to, they would have to email the template to you via email. So we're going to put our email address over here. I'm just going to put my email address and um, your email address again. So it says consent to email. That's check this to confirm you want us to email to you. You're going to click on it. Yeah, and you're going to write, click on email cover template. Thank you for choosing blah, blah, blah. You don't have to actually make any donation if you want to find, but if you don't want to just click on maybe next time and then click continue. Once you click on continue, they would email you the template. So you have to go to your email and check for that template. Let me do that right now. I've op I just opened the email that was sent to me from BookCow. And um, so I'm just going to go down and I'm going to download. Um, I'm going to download the book. This is the paperback. I'm just going to download this. So right now it's downloading. So we have to now go to Canva because we are going to be editing whatever we're going to be doing, we're going to be editing on Canva. So we're going to open our Canva profile. Um, so right now we're in Canva. You have to open, um, I'm going to just open the paperback that was um, sent to me. I'm going to copy it. Um, this is how the book cover is going to look like. So I'm just going to come over to this space. I'm going to copy it. And um, I'll go over to cover to paste it. But before we do that, I want you to take um, um, note of these dimensions that are here, because this is actually what you'll be using to design on Canva, these dimensions over here. We are on Canva. So when you want to create a design on Canva, because you already have a measurement that was given to us by BookCow, we are going to come over to custom size, meaning that you're the one that would actually be putting the size that you want. And in this case, the sizes are in inches. So you're going to change it to inches and you will impute whatever was sent to you. That section I told you to take note of. So I'm just going to impute mine right now. So I'm just going to click on create design. So this is how it's going to look like. This is the dimension of, of um, how your paperback is going to look like. So now, right now, we're going to um, paste the cover that we copied from um, your system. You're going to paste it on Canva. So when you paste it, you just open this um, section out, ensure that it feels, can you see what I'm doing? So just open it up. Yeah. Can you see now? It's already perfect on the page. So right now you're going to be, this is where the designing comes to play. You now have to start designing, but ensure that 
whatever you're doing, your text doesn't, the text on your book cover, the text on the cover of your, of your book doesn't exceed this line, this red line, this line. So this line is showing you that nothing must go outside this place. That's what it's trying to tell you. Nothing must exceed this. Anything you want to do should be within this white um, section. Do you understand? So right now, um, let's, we are going to be designing our book cover right now. We're going to start designing this book cover right now. First of all, I would like to um, actually put something like a design on this line, just to also help me with my, um, when I'm actually designing it. So I'm going to be putting um, um, a line over there. Just watch me. This is to also ensure that I'm not actually um, going against any, um, I'm not going outside the line. So after doing that, I'm going to change the color of this to black. Then I come over to this space. Now I want to design the book cover itself. So I'm just going to um, bring this over here to where the line actually um, ends by the right side. And I'm just going to drag it out to ensure that it fits into this um, space. It doesn't go outside. Can you guys see that? So I'll change this color. Um, So yeah, guys, we now have a book cover. So this is just like, I just did something quickly. You can take your time to actually design your book cover if you want it to be like a picture, whatever it is you want to do, ensure that you do it. But this is like a basic, um, um, this is like a basic guide to ensuring that you um, get the right measurements for designing your um, book cover. And so when you are done, you just go over and um, you download it. now we have our book cover like i said this is just um, a tutorial you could do better designs for your book cover so we've so we've come to the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you actually learned something do well to leave a comment for me in the comment section letting me know how valuable this video was to you and don't forget if you haven't subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for do well to click on the subscribe button right now turn on your post notification bell i'm gonna see you in the next video bye bye